The family barber shop has been a mainstay on Duckworth Street for 40 years. That era is about to come to an end. Ted has been clipping heads for 30 years. George, 50. They're about to retire. Hey, I mean, you're not supposed to quit. You're supposed to die at this profession, eh? I'm in shock. I'm in shock that we're closing. So is this the reason you come here? Absolutely. Where else in the city would you get this done? What do you like about it? Nothing better than a clean shaven scalp when you're done here. It's great. Many customers are just learning the shop is closing up, and it's a jolt when they walk in and see the bare walls. Because the shop was a miniature museum. Over the years, we did several stories with Ted. You can see the pictures on the walls behind him, and there was the stuff he collected, including this tobacco cutter and a rare find, this metal. Now, most of it has a new home. We spoke to a guy uh, from Pity Harbor that took a great interest in it, and he said he wanted it all for the Pity Harbor Museum. So we were delighted to pass it on to him. But customers wanted to buy some things, like the barber chairs. One guy mentioned the tuna boat, uh, another guy mentioned putting it in his wreck room. Even the barber pole has been sold. The money from the sale items will go to the food bank at Munn. I'd like to thank all the customers for their business over the years and uh, wish everybody well. With the thousands of people who have come into the shop over the years, you may be wondering why Ted didn't tell any stories. He didn't want to. He didn't want to risk offending anybody. Glenn Payette, CBC News, St. John's.